Chapter 8 Renewable and Non-Renewable Resources Learning Objective Natural Resources Some Renewable Resources Non-Renewable Resources Soil Natural Resources Nature is an abundant source of things which we use for our daily needs. When we are about to prepare food, we need food items like wheat flour, rice, vegetables, water, utensils, cooker and heat source like gas etc. In four beds, a hydroelectric station uses the power of falling water to turn its generators. Water is stored in a reservoir behind a huge dam. All these things are provided to us by nature. One can create nothing new on their own. We depend on nature for finished products or raw materials. The materials which we use for making things that are provided by nature are called natural resources. Air, water, food, petroleum, soil, forest are all natural resources. Let me answer. How we get hydroelectric power? Teachers note. Tell the students that this world is full of different resources. Make learners understand their various uses. The natural resources which we cannot consume wholly are called renewable resources. Nature provides renewable resources again and again periodically. For example, river water is a renewable resource as the amount of water used by us is replaced by nature in the form of rain. Food is also renewable resource as the farmers can grow more food for us. Energy we get from sun, solar energy, energy we get from water, hydro energy and the wind energy are the examples of renewable sources of energy. Renewable sources of energy remain renewable until we use not more than required. Most of the energy resources are non-renewable. For example, coal, petroleum and natural gases are non-renewable resources of energy as their amount is fixed and cannot be replaced or even if they can be replaced, the pace is very slow. Some Renewable Resources The Sun The Sun is a source of life. It gives heat and energy for the survival of all things. It is a renewable resource. The sun rays are absorbed by the huge solar panels to get its energy. This energy called solar energy can be used for cooking food to heat up water or room. Solar cells convert sunlight into electricity. Solar energy is a good option to be used by the common people. Water We get water from many sources like rain, streams, ponds, sea, rivers and oceans. Water is used by us for many purposes. Water is also used to generate electricity as it has energy. Electricity generated by water is called hydroelectric power. It is generated by turbines by the falling water. This generates electricity. Since amount of water used is replaced by rain, it is a renewable resource. But the extensive use of water cannot be replaced by nature alone. We should use it more carefully to save our future. Wind Wind energy is also used to generate energy and to do other mechanical works. Wind is a renewable source because we will go on getting wind till nature exists. Dung of animals The dung of animals is also a natural renewable resource. You must have heard about gober gas plant. Gober gas plant is used to generate fuel for cooking and other purposes. 
the residue of dung is used as fertilizers for the plants it is the best manure for the growth of plants non renewable resources coal coal is formed by the dead plants and trees buried under the ground for very long period the buried trees and plants gets converted into coal by heat and pressure of the earth for a long time this process takes several years so coal is a non renewable resource the extensive use of coal should be avoided because one day this natural resource may be finished from nature petroleum and natural gas petroleum and natural gas are formed over millions of years beneath the sea the dead sea organisms get buried into the layers of rocks the heat and pressure transform them to oil and natural gas the drilling of rocks for extracting oil and gas is an expensive process the formation of petroleum and natural gas also takes millions of years we should use petrol diesel kerosene natural gases etc more wisely to face the future metals and minerals nature has provided us with valuable gifts of metals and minerals these gifts should be used properly because these are non renewable sources our household articles are made of different metals some metals are abundant in nature like aluminum iron magnesium while some metals are limited like tin silver gold and platinum so we should use them more wisely soil soil is the most valuable resource on earth soil not only contains metals and minerals in its layers but also grows the plants which are the food producers it supports plants as well as animals it gives us food through the growth of plants life cannot be imagined in the absence of soil in forbids sometimes deadly poisonous gases are found in coal pits many miners have died inhaling such poisonous gases formation of soil the weathering and breaking of rocks form the soil the wind water and living beings are the causes of breaking of rocks due to cooling heating and drying the rocks crack and break up into small pieces to form soil the process of soil formation is a slow long and continuous process the quality of soil is an asset of a nation it adds wealth to the country uses of soil our basic needs such as food cloth shelter etc are fulfilled by soil forests which grow in soil bring rain and support various plant and animal activities large deposits of metals and minerals are present in the soil microorganisms present in soil make it fertile and help in maintaining the ecosystem soil is also used for making bricks pots and porcelain etc soil also stores water under the ground this underground water is pure and free of germs so it can be used for drinking purposes soil erosion the carrying away of soil from one place to another by water or wind is called soil erosion heavy rainfall in hilly areas causes soil erosion on the slope In plains flood water carries away the soil the storm and wind also carry away the soil from one place to another the soil erosion leads to loss of upper layer of soil it reduces the fertility of soil by removing the layer of humus in soil man is equally responsible for the soil erosion to meet his needs man continuously cuts forests and trees to acquire land he changes grasslands into cemented land soil erosion is also carried out by animals overgrazing by the animals make the soil bare the grass holds soil in its long 
continuous roots and thus checks the soil erosion. Soil pollution Man produces different types of wastes from mines, factories and homes. Most of the wastes are buried in land. This causes serious soil pollution. The careless use of pesticides, insecticides and fertilizers also led to soil pollution. The soil pollution causes infertility of soil and contamination of water as well as air. Soil Conservation The soil is being damaged by the activity of man. Thousands of tons of soil is carried away by wind or water due to the deforestation. And for beds, due to huge soil erosion, rivers are losing their depth. The desert land is spreading speedily. The careful protection of the soil or to check soil erosion is called soil conservation. Different methods are adopted to check soil erosion. 1. More trees should be grown at slopes of mountains. 2. Overgrazing by the cattle should be avoided. 3. Terrace farming should be done in the hilly areas. 4. Strong embankments along river banks reduce soil erosion. 5. Trees should be planted in large numbers. 6. Proper use of fertilizers reduces the infertility of soil. Summary Natural resources are the substances which we get from the nature. Renewable resources do not reduce even after using them again. Example river water, solar energy, the food grains etc. which farmers can grow periodically. Non-renewable resources are in fixed amount. They are replaced very slowly, example coal, petroleum and natural gases. Electricity generated by water is called hydroelectric power. Coal is formed by the dead plants and trees buried under the ground for a very long period. Soil is formed by the weathering and breaking of rocks. Exercise A. Take the correct option. A. Water is a non-renewable source of energy, renewable source of energy, hydroelectric power. Answer. Renewable source of energy. B. Solar cells convert potential energy to kinetic energy, heat energy into chemical energy, sunlight into electricity. Answer. Sunlight into electricity. C. The metal which is not much abundant in nature is aluminium, magnesium, gold. Answer Gold. D. Soil pollution is caused due to wood cutting, grassland change to cemented land, waters from mine factories and homes in the soil. Answer Waters from the mine factories and homes in the soil. B. Fill in the blanks. A. The amount of water used by us is replaced by dash. Answer. Rain. B. Metals are extracted from the dash. Answer. Ores. C. Dash converts solar energy into electricity. Answer. Solar cells. D. Most of the energy resources are dash. Answer. Non-renewable. E. Dash is formed by breaking and weathering of rocks. Answer. Soil. C. Right, true or false. A. Wool we get from sheep is an example of renewable natural resource. Answer. True. B. The plants causes soil pollution. Answer. False. C. If the resource available to us do not reduce it is called non-renewable resource. Answer. True. D. Substances which we get from nature are called natural resources. Answer. True. E. Microorganisms present in soil make the soil fertile. Answer. True. D. Match the following. A. River water. Answer. Renewable natural resource. B. Soil erosion. Answer. 
wind and water c natural gas answer non renewable natural resource d soil conservation answer planting more trees e soil answer natural resource f answer the following questions a how dung of animals can be used answer the dung of animals is also a natural renewable resource gobar gas plant is used to generate fuel for cooking and other purposes the residue of dung is used as fertilizers for the plants b how can we conserve soil right any four ways answer there are different methods to conserve the soil one more trees should be grown on the slopes of mountains two overgrazing by cattle should be avoided three terrace farming should be done in hilly areas four trees should be planted in large numbers t why is it important to use coal and petroleum more wisely answer coal is a non renewable resource The drilling of rocks for extracting oil and gas is an expensive process. It takes millions of years to form petroleum and natural gas also takes millions of years. D. What is soil erosion? Name the agents that bring soil erosion. Answer. The carrying away of soil from one place to another is called soil erosion. The two agents that bring soil are water and wind. E. Name various natural renewable resources. Answer: The various natural renewable sources are sun, water, wind and dung of animals. Draw a picture of gobar gas plant.